What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I've got a super quick video for you, basically just sharing the most effective method that I've found so far, and I've done a lot of testing with this, for taking down ball turret gunners in Call of Duty Vanguard. Now the reason I wanted to make this video is at this point it seems like nobody even tries to take down a ball turret gunner because if you try it with most weapons in the game or with launchers it seems kind of pointless. You might as well just wait inside instead of just getting yourself killed over and over attempting to shoot it down and not being able to succeed before the time runs out. And here's the deal, I'm gonna tell you right up front, I don't have an instant takedown method for the ball turret gunner, which I think is a good thing. This is the highest streak in the game and you should absolutely be rewarded for it, but at the same time, there does need to be some balance and counterplay there. And it seems like a lot of people don't understand that there even is counterplay to the ball turret gunner aside from hiding. And this is actually one of the reasons I would like to see a flat gun style kill streak come into the game at some point. Now, obviously, I would like that to be balanced properly, so it's not overly prevalent and completely destroys any reward from getting streaks in the game. But that's kind of going off on a tangent. Let's get back into the topic of this video, which is what is the fastest method that I've found, at least, for taking down ball turret gunners. And the approach I took to this was throwing together a spreadsheet that shows our DPS values for various guns and attachment combinations on those guns to find the guns that have the highest DPS versus vehicles. So I'm looking at the vehicle damage stat, and I also looked at a combination of attachments as well. Now, I didn't include SMGs or pistols or anything in this because you got to be able to actually reliably hit the streak in the air in the first place, so it's kind of pointless to include those. So I just focused on assault rifles, LMGs, marksman rifles, and sniper rifles. And by far, the best choices that I found here when it comes to overall vehicle DPS were the automaton with certain proficiencies and attachments equipped. Surprisingly, the G43 marksman rifle, that one's incredible when it comes to its DPS value while just using the armor piercing rounds and then whatever other attachments you'd like. The Bren, which actually has the best DPS potential out of any of the full auto guns at least, which I actually found to be quite surprising. The Whitley, as well as the Garenko anti-tank rifle. Now, I did also quickly do a test with the MG42 since this is often a very popular choice for shooting down aerial streaks. But it turns out this actually doesn't have a solid DPS potential. The only real upside to this is the fact that it's very forgiving for missed shots due to the super high fire rates, and it can be made to be laser accurate, so you can make it so you basically don't miss any shots. So I just wanted to point that out. I ruled out the MG42 early on, even though that is such a popular choice. Now let's start going through each of these top choices to see which one turns out to be the best. And I want to start it off with the Garanko Anti-Tank Rifle, which this technically has by far the best DPS potential against vehicles out of any gun in the game. But the problem with this is you can't necessarily spam it accurately at its maximum fire rate, so that cuts down on the DPS. And another thing is you are limited in your magazine capacity, so you're going to be spending a lot of your time reloading if you're shooting down a streak that has extremely high health, like the ball turret gunner. And as a result, even when using the dismantle proficiency, which increases the amount of damage you deal to vehicles, as well as the explosive rounds just for that little extra boost, this is still just not a very effective method for taking down a ball turret gunner. It's absolutely incredible for taking out these smaller streaks like spy planes and counter spy planes. It's literally just a two shot kill on a spy plane. But once you start bumping it up to something like a ball turret gunner, this is far from your best choice. And it turns out this is exactly the same story with the G43, even though it has a very solid DPS potential against streaks. It unfortunately just doesn't have the magazine capacity to properly back that up for a larger streak like this, and therefore it is eliminated from the equation. As for the next option I wanted to test, since you can get a really solid DPS value, is the Automaton. But with this, you've got to use a bunch of attachments, and one of those attachments is the short barrel, which massively increases recoil, and therefore that makes it very difficult to hit aerial streaks. And again, that eliminates it from the equation. After that, we have the Bren, which, like I said, this one actually has the best DPS potential out of any full auto gun by a pretty large margin as well. However, a big problem with this one is, again, with the combination of attachments that are required to get this insane DPS value, our full auto recoil is all over the place, and therefore, with all the missed shots, it no longer has a solid practical DPS value. So what you'd have to do with this instead is put it into semi-auto mode, which lowers your DPS since your fire rate is going to be slower. And while this is still a somewhat viable option, you can still be dealing a lot of damage per shot here, and it could be a great support option if there's multiple people on a team taking down a ball turret gunner. On its own, it's just not the best choice out there. 
That spot is reserved for the Whitley. It turns out the Whitley is not just amazing at taking out enemy players, it's also incredible at taking down aerial streaks. And this is due to the fact that it does have an amazing DPS value against vehicles, not quite as good as the Bren, but it's also incredibly accurate with the build that's required to get this high DPS. And therefore you can fire it full auto at its maximum fire rate. And it's got a ridiculous magazine capacity, so you don't even have to reload while shooting down a ball turret gunner. And you actually have the potential to take a ball turret gunner down in about 16 seconds with this Whitley build that I'm going to share for you guys in a second. Now, of course, you have to keep in mind this is in a controlled environment in a custom game with no threats whatsoever. And therefore, this is literally the best case scenario. More often than not, you'll likely get killed at least a couple times in the process. So you're not actually going to consistently be taking ball turret gunners down in 15 seconds. But this just shows the potential of the Whitley and why this is the best option for taking down a ball turret gunner. And this right here is the attachment combination I was using just so it's really nice and accurate and able to take these vehicles down. This is not a balanced build that's also designed to be great against enemy players. Our aim down sight time, for instance, is just way too slow. But if you wanted to keep this build in your back pocket just to pull out for ball turret gunners, preferably on a class setup that also has cold blooded so that ball turret gunner can't see you when you respawn, this is going to give you the best odds possible of taking an enemy ball turret gunner down. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on the best method that I've found so far for taking out ball turret gunners. I understand some people won't like the fact that I shared this video because they don't want their ball turret gunner shot down, but I do feel like the ball turret gunner has had enough time in the spotlight going basically uncontested. So I want to get this information out for anybody that wants the ability to counter a ball turret gunner effectively, especially for those solo players out there that are running into full stacks of enemies that are just calling in ball turret gunner after ball turret gunner. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what did you think about the results that I found here today? And do you think you maybe have a better option for taking out ball turret gunners? I was quite thorough with my testing, but of course there is a chance that I've missed some underrated build. If you enjoyed this video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.